everyone, surprise. Good to see you. It's Kylie Vitucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia here with you. Whoop, whoop. This is not a planned live. Repeat, this is not a planned live. <laughs> I hope you're all well. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. Now, let's make sure everything is connected. If you're here live, please say hello. I'm making sure that I can see everything that you can see. And voila. <laughs> For some reason, it's only showing the profile picture. I'm not sure why. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so uh welcome i'm here because there's something exciting to share there's never a dull moment in the batucci household as you know so um we have the brand new suite that has arrived the ornate garden suite and i have been very good and i haven't opened it because I'm saving it for all of you so that we can open it together. Isn't that special? We want to have an unboxing together. So when you're here, just jump on, say hello. It is live. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Dana. I should say Dana. We're very bad with that name here in Australia. Hi, everyone. Hi, Kuniko-san. Oh, gozaimasu. I think it's morning for you guys. Oh, konbanwa. <laughs> Hi, I know it is a big surprise. So I'm going to open up my amazing pre-order. Now, I wanted to jump on and show you this brand new product because I know how much we all love brand new product and we all are dying to see this brand new product. If you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, remember that you can pre-order this now. And the cool thing is about being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is you get a discount, 20% minimum, could even be more your discount um, so keep that in mind if you're a demo if you are not a demo and you're like I really want this just hang 10 because I'll show you exactly how you can get your hands on it and how you can order it in your starter kit and the cool thing is, is that you'll only pay $169 but you can order $235 worth in this in this uh, suite of products. <gasps> what just fell out? Ah, it's dimensionals. I didn't know that I got some dimensionals. I hope this actually is the garden. I didn't even check to make sure that it is. I just assumed how good it is. I was like, I'm starting to have a panic attack. Like, oh no, what if it was a, a different order? <laughs> that would be a Kylie moment, wouldn't it? You'd all love it. <laughs> Carly's keeping it real again, but no, it is actually the Ornate Garden bundle. I was having a little panic attack. Now, the cool thing is with me pre-ordering all of this is guess what? I've got a free stamp set. And look how beautiful this stamp set is. Freebie! I love celebration, so that's why it's an awesome time to order it now, people, if you're a demonstrator. Oh, look how many of you are jumping on. Hello, Debbie. Canada, California. Oh, it's so nice. Montana in the USA. Hi, Debbie. Oh, even Alan from New Zealand. Well, it's actually Sandra <laughs> using Alan's account. <laughs> Hi, Kylie. Oh, it's so nice to see you all here. Now, I actually saw that sadly due to the coronavirus which i'm just so devastated about this it's really full-on um but you know craft will always take our mind off scary things like awful viruses that are going worldwide uh, but stampin up did update us that the champagne rhinestones and there's a few other things as well i'll make sure that i update all of my beautiful VIP customers and team. I'll put it on on both of the groups that you're part of. But there are a few things that are going to be most likely disrupted because of everything that's happening in China. So Stampin' Up! have been very open and transparent about that. And one of the things that could be disrupted is our champagne rhinestones. And I love my champagne rhinestones, so I'm very sad about that. But now is a good time to get them while they're still in stock. So check those out. I love these 
for gifts and things like that. They're so cheap to post and they're an awesome gift. Who doesn't love champagne rhinestones? So, oh, wow, new, if, even from England. This must be like the perfect time to go live. This is like everyone from the world. Everyone in the world is here. This is exciting. Oh, Debbie's come home from a day of work and I'm here. So let's have a look. Let's break it down and have a look at this amazing suite of products. So the reason why I ended up getting a few champagne rhinestones was because I wanted to bump it up and get my little rewards. Because, you know, I could get, by bumping it up, I got another reward. <laughs> The foils, the flowering foils, because I can never have enough paper. Give me more paper, especially free paper. Hello. See, so yeah, I bumped it up. I got that and also this. So well worth bumping up your order and just seeing if you can get some freebies. Now, I'm super excited. I'm going to start with these. This is the Gilded Gems. Hopefully I've said that right. Uh, gorgeous gold gems i love these i am so going to use them stat so that is a brand new in this amazing bundle i'm just going to share my computer screen with you and show you exactly what this bundle oh do we have I don't have all of the pictures here, but anyway, I've attached the video so that you can see exactly what is in the bundle, but this will give you an idea anyway. So you've got the bundle here, the Ornate Thanks bundle. There's the Ornate Style bundle. There's the embossing folder. There's a ribbon combo, the specialty designer series paper. It's a specialty paper. And then the gems that I just showed you. So this is everything that is included in this suite. Now, it's $238 for that. The starter kit only allows you to put in $235. So just either take out the um, ribbon or the gems, whatever you want. Um, and I replaced mine for some gold um, foil because the gold foil is perfect with this because it'll go really well with the designer series paper. Um, and then you'll be able to purchase the either the gems or the ribbon later once you sign up and you'll be able to get it at 20% discount too. So it's well worth it. And instead of paying $235, because that's what you'll almost total to once you add in, once you swap it over, I think it's $235. $34.50 or something like that. Actually, I've got the, this is it here. Yeah, you end up with 50 cents left over. So this is what you can add to your starter kit if you want to join and get this suite now instead of having to wait until the 1st of April. Because you will be able to buy this and it will be available for one year, but why not get $66 discount? Plus, don't forget that if you um, purchase it or sign up during this month, that you'll actually get some really cool freebies. Uh, one of the freebies that you'll be able to get is our little mini trimmer, my mini cutter, which is so cute. Oh, <laughs> so cute. So you get that free. You get 48 sheets of paper free, plus a free stamp set of your choice. Any value, free. So I'm telling you, it's a no-brainer. If you see these products and you're like, oh my goodness, they are so beautiful. I want everything. Now is the time to sign up. And remember, once you sign up, you get 20% off minimum. It actually increases depending on what your sales are for the month. But a minimum 20% discount. Oh, yes, please. I'll take that. I'll take 20% off, thanks. <laughs> so, paper. Love it, chop it. Guess what? I'm going to chop it with you today. A bit of fun. That's what we're going to do. We are going to choppy choppy and have fun with this beautiful paper because I know how hard it is to chop paper, especially when it's brand new and it looks this beautiful. I am loving these colours. Ah, <gasps> Stampin' up, you've done it again. Look at these. 
so pretty. <gasps> Look at that. It's got like foil through it. Gold foil. Oh, so pretty. And then we've got this one. And look at the gold foil on this side. I know which side I'm using. <laughs> I know which side's going to get used in that one. Not that side. Sorry, not that side. Goodbye. This side's my winner. Do you do that? Do you pick, pick sides? It's good that you get two sheets because if you like both, then you can say, all right, I'll keep one side for this and one side for this. But sorry, both sides are going to be this one. You win. <laughs> You're the winner. Oh, this one's going to be hard because both sides are nice. But I do like the one with the gold in it. That is so pretty. I think you're going to have to buy two packs, people. Suzlol. Ryan Suzling. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that paper is so beautiful. So what colours do we have in this? Did I just rip it off? I think I did. I think I chucked it on. Oh, no, there it is. So the colours are... Early espresso. <laughs> Do you like that? Early espresso, mint macaron, old olive, terracotta tile, whisper white, and drum roll, bumblebee! Bumblebee! It's a new colour! It's bumblebee! That is so cute. What a cute name. So that's that colour in there. <gasps> I love it. Chop it. Let's love it and chop it. We'll do that in a moment. I'll keep showing you the bundles for now. Bumblebee, that's such a cute name. Ribbon. Let's have a look at the ribbon combo. I really love these ribbon combos because they're a little bit smaller in size but affordable. Same price but you get two. It's like you get two for the price of one but really it's just a little bit smaller. And let's face it, whoever finishes their ribbon, I actually finished one ribbon. It's my first ribbon I think I've ever finished. It was the um, champagne edged, is it petal pink? Copper edged, yeah, ribbon. I finished it. I'm so proud of myself. So now I'm allowed to buy more. Because <laughs> that's what you do when you run out. You're like, yeah, I'm totally buying another one. <laughs> Hello everyone! Oh, that's so good. It's so good that you can be a demonstrator and pre-order, Cindy said. Yes. Yes, you saw Daisy scary. Yes. Oh, you're staying up, Debbie. I'm sorry to keep you up late at night. <laughs> and it is totally an awesome thing. Being a demonstrator and being able to pre-order is really fun. Um, but the fact that you're able to add it to your starter kit is so awesome because it means if you're not a demonstrator, then you can join up. And there was an interesting, um, there was a lady that joined with me recently, I think in the last couple of weeks, and she had no idea that you could join and you don't have to sell. So that's good. I know I do need longer arms. <laughs> so here is the beautiful ribbon. It is really pretty and it's, yeah. I love the texture of it. It's not silky. It's sort of, yeah, it's got a beautiful texture to it. The outside edge is silky, but inside is fantastic. So we're going to have a lot of fun with that. Then the bundles, let me put these in the right order and open them up for you. So we have Ornate Thanks. That's our stamp set. Really great sentiments there. Some fantastic ones. Love the font, Stampin' Up. Winner. Really excited about the font. Like, it's got here, from the bottom of my heart, I wasn't sure how to say thanks. It's like you can do a mashup. Your kindness uh, is so loved. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. I want to cry. Look at these dies, people. <laughs> you know you're going to want it. <laughs> oh, Dina Recal. She's awesome. Brina. 
say hello from me, <laughs> move to Canada. I'd love you to join my team, but sorry, you have to move to Australia. <laughs> so that's, oh, that's so, so cool. So that one is the Ornate Border Dies. And I'm not sure which one goes with which bundle, actually. Maybe we can work it out. The Ornate Layers Dies. Let's have a look at this one. And then we'll compare the pair. Because either one could actually go with either one. They really could. But I know that I've got the Stampin' Up! website and it can tell me which one is which bundle. Ooh! I think Stampin' Up! might have changed the the little opening. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I've just got used to it. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of dyes in here. Okay. <laughs> Check it out! So I'm pretty sure... I'm going to take a stab in the dark and I'm going to say that that goes with that. And this gorgeous one ornate style goes with that but you're gonna want both of them so it doesn't really matter which goes with which you're gonna get both bundles aren't you <laughs> just get them both <laughs> hi i always try and say one. <laughs> it's so hard for me to say that word i look at it and i'm like oh my goodness that is such a tongue twister if I hear it, I know how to say it in return. Sask Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. <laughs> it's so difficult. <laughs> yeah, so there's the bundles. Loving the bundles. Bundle, bundle, bundles. And we've got an embossing folder. This is a gift that keeps coming. So imagine you can get all of this except for... Like if you remove either the ribbon or remove the gems, but you can get everything else and only pay $169 if you do. And you get free postage, people, when you join. <laughs> and here is the embossing folder. Let me put something behind here so that you can see that beautiful pattern. Can you see that? So pretty. Little tiny flowers. Gorgeous. So that is called the Ornate Floral 3D. So that's how they look. Yeah. So, should we do some choppy choppy? Let's do some love it, chop it with this beautiful paper. And if I'm feeling inspired, we might even make a card. Let's just do it, hey? Let's just rock it. We've got all this beautiful new product here. Why not? So, let me display the page here. So, what we're going to do, and I'm sorry about the lighting if it's a little bit shadowy. So, we'll get our designer series paper. And as most of you know... We're going to cut them in the Poppy Parade size. If you have my card templates, if you don't have my card templates, <gasps> what? Why not? You need my card templates. So what you want to make sure of is your first cut is going to be your biggest cut on the Poppy Parade. And you want to make sure that it, if you want portrait, that it's the opposite direction. If you want landscape, no problem. It can face you. But I'm going to go for portrait on this one. So, I know, don't be scared. Once you know the measurement, once you have your poppy parade size and you know exactly what measurement it is, you don't have to be afraid anymore. Freedom! You know exactly what you're doing then. And I'm pretty sure you can cut two of them. <gasps> this is so pretty, this paper. Let's test it. Yeah, easy peasy. Two pieces in here, no problem. So let's do that. So these are all going to be cut down in this card front size. Once they're at this card front size, you can do whatever you want with them. You don't have to use them at this size, but at least they're ready to go. 
because even these little pieces here we're going to keep because what you're going to do if you wanted to you could cut it on a diagonal and then you're using you've got both sides ready for a card front you could chop it in half have have like double chop it in half this way top and bottom it really is you could just you know use strips of it it really is up to you but once it's in in this card front form it's so easy to work with and it just inspires you instantly and it's great that stampin up uh, basically making sure that this paper is perfect for our card making it still would be awesome for those that are scrapbookers but majority of us are doing card making so we want it for that purpose <gasps> isn't that pretty so pretty look at that one Wow 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 so remember again you want to look at it and say which way do I want it to face so this is to me this pattern if I was looking at it like this this is the way I'd want it uh, so if I'm wanting portrait which are these pieces here we're gonna get six pieces um, yeah three on each side so six pieces and if you want it like this then you're gonna to need to cut it in half that way first a big measurement and this one looks yeah this one's the same we want it to be sideways sideways for portrait facing you for landscape and if you sort of get used to that rule of thumb it will become easier and easier and if you get your designer series paper as soon as you come home or as soon as it, it arrives boom open that baby and shop and then you can put it in a clear mount case if you're not going to use them straight away however I think it's always awesome to try and use it ASAP if you can not store it that is the preferable option because otherwise if it gets stored then you're going to be a bit overwhelmed like just use it straight away have them ready to go you don't even have to put a sentiment on there yes I agree Linda it is like that hello everyone you can't go wrong with flowers I love it I'm ready to spend about $500 and I want to help someone's team every time I watch Kylie Petucci, my shopping cart grows. <laughs> I'm trying to be conservative. <laughs> That's hilarious. Do you have a demonstrator already, Sam? Because if not, I have lots of Canadian peeps that I can recommend. Look at that already. So see how quickly and easily this one pack of paper is going to make 72 cards if you just use it just literally like exactly like this without cutting it you're going to be able to make 72 cards but if you chop it again there's a little piece in there if you chop it like in diagonals or in half well of course you can double that amount you could end up with like 140 something cards well what is it 72 yeah 144 isn't it let's get two sheets here I don't know how I ended up doing these two together, but I ended up getting very excited. So what I'll do, because I've done some of them in the portraits um, way, you know what, I'm gonna cut some of these in landscape just to show you. So we've got two sheets of this in um, portrait, cut down for portrait, but let's cut it down for landscape. So you're just gonna do it facing you for landscape. So even if you have a little poster note saying, face me for landscape, turn on the side for portrait. And you'll get more, the more you do this, the more confident you'll get. And especially if you have your Poppy Parade card template, it's just going to give you that confidence that you know you're cutting it at the right measurement. And then it's just so much easier to use now. Well, feel free to message me, Sam. I can give you a list of amazing demonstrators in Canada. 
right off the top of my head, there's the lovely Genevieve Co. and the lovely Alison Okamitsu. They're both working very hard in their businesses. And I have a little bit to do with them. What have we got here? Oh, yeah, that's it. But there's other um, Canadian demos that are amazing. Just go on a little search. Ask some questions. I think it's probably the important thing is working out what sort of customer service you want. Uh, do you want face-to-face -face or do you want online interaction? Because I know Genevieve does a lot of face-to-face -face and Alison does online classes. So you sort of just have to ask the demonstrator what type of demonstrator they are. And then you can find one that fits for you. That is gorgeous. Wowza. So see here how I cut those. So now they're definitely looking like a landscape card because we did it cutting facing to us. So the largest cut we did facing us. Whereas with this one, you can see the way that they're sitting, those flowers, that they definitely gravitate to. It's not like you couldn't do it that way. Look, it still looks beautiful. It looks like the daisies are facing towards the sun, up that way. So there's a lot of flexibility with these. Like they don't have to be, but to me, I just feel like the direction is, is that way. But yeah, it's really versatile either way with this paper. Stephen up, you're amazing. Seriously, they are listening to us because it almost gets to the stage where it's like, it doesn't actually matter which way you turn it. They all look amazing. <laughs> Yay. So let's choppy choppy. Yep, that doesn't matter which way you chop. So largest cut first I like to do. And do it, make sure you do it on both. And don't you love that this trimmer allows you to cut two at once? Oh, that's nice. Geraldine said that she's a new demonstrator in Canada and she's looking to build her business. Well, guess what I posted today? I'm a bit excited about it. You might have seen it on my Facebook page. If not, I'll put I'll pop up a link on here. But I'm I've just sort of I think I'm over halfway building a social media training program, which my lovely team members receive for free. But um, I've just created monthly payment plans because a few demonstrators were like, oh, I'd love to do it, but it's just a bit too much to pay all at once. So I suddenly realized, oh, I didn't have it set up as a payment plan. So I did that today. So definitely check it out. It's $35 Australian. And I have everything you can possibly think of that you need to be an online demonstrator. Um, learning how to send newsletters, learning how to blog, um, Pinterest, creating your own graphics, sending newsletters. So I've just finished all of them and then coming up soon, I'll be doing more gorgeous paper. I'll be doing um, training on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, like how to do Instagram lives. Yeah, it's a lot of information, but I think it's just so important to know if you want to set up a business online. And I've been doing this for over 10 years and honestly learning all that, I'm, I'm self-taught and learning all of that on my own was like a nightmare. <laughs> it's like, and everything keeps changing. So the cool thing is, is that once you do your payment plan, once you, it's a one-off payment, and once you've paid it all off, then you get um, lifetime access and all uh, any updates that I do, you get for free. So really cool. So definitely check that out. Anyone who's a demo, if you have questions about that, feel free to message me. But I'll put the link up saying um, social media training info here so that you can have a look. But yeah, it's plastered on, even on my Instagram, I put it today. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna share this everywhere today because I'm super excited. Yeah, I'm very excited by it, Geraldine. You'll love it. 
because it's it's really difficult with all these different platforms and then remembering why you're doing it i think that's half the battle with most of these platforms you're like hang on why am i on pinterest and how is this helping my business right now because i've just spent two hours pinning random cards <laughs> instead of actually doing something that I think is worthwhile for work. <laughs> so this is another one that you could do both sides, but I think this it definitely gravitates to me if I wanted it portrait this portrait this way. And that doesn't matter on that side. I always like to check both sides just in case. See how quick and easy this is? This is 72 cards, minimum. Even more if you cut it down. And then I'm all set to go. And how nice that I got to do it with you all. Because this is what I'd normally do on my own as soon as my paper arrives. And I'll probably end up doing these for my lovely customers this month. There we go. They're going to love it. Then they can get a sample of the new products. And then they'll be like, oh my goodness, Kylie, where do I sign up? I want it. I want it all. Yeah, I'd be the same. Because I did. I went, I looked at the picture, went, yes, I want it all. Thank you, Stampin' Up. And our last sheet. Can you believe it? Sam, you like my sizes. The only thing is, is if you use letter cardstock, then I know it's a bit of a pain, but your cardstock is better in the Canadian sizes because you'll get more out of your cardstock base. You can cut it in half and get two card fronts. Whereas if you do the Aussie style, um, you'll only be able to get one out of your cardstock which is not good. You want two card bases per cardstock sheet. Voila! Look at this, people. Look at all that amazing, amazing inspiration that we have there now. <gasps> so pretty. It is so beautiful. I am absolutely loving this. So as we looked at the colours, what could we use as a base? So we could use the mint macaron, um, old olive, even the early espresso. So I'll get all of the colours so that we can just see it next to it. So we've got old olive, we'll grab a couple of them, terracotta tile, Um, mint macaron, my favourite! I love mint macaron. No wonder I love this paper, because it's my minty colour. And early espresso. Hi, Batucci. Hi. How's it going? Are you still on? Yes, I am. But Thank you can you. come in, you can't see front on. So you can do a nudie run and no one will know. <laughs> It's very hot in Melbourne today. <laughs> what do you require? Ah, right, cool. Uh, so there are our colours. And what I'd like to do, or what I prefer doing, is just looking at the card next to the cardstock and seeing what really sort of makes my heart sing. Ooh, that one's my first heart sing. Ooh. <laughs> You know what I like about this one is because the background is mint macaron, it almost looks like those those flowers have just popped off the page. So it's so good having the Stampin' Up! colours. It just takes out all this guesswork. Straight away we know that is going to be our card base. So if I show you this, we just straight away grab our mint macaron cut it at the um gorgeous grape card base size whatever that is in your country and you will get two card bases when you cut it that size okay the gorgeous grape and 
Then you just get your bone folder. I'll just move that to the side for a moment. Get your bone folder, fold in half, and give it a score along the edge there. And I'll just move this to the side so that you've got plenty of visual room there. Now, what you could do, you can totally just stick that right down straight away. Oh, and the other thing to do with the paper too is just always check when you cut it in half that sometimes one side can be a little bit bigger, but this looks like it's fine. So then we're just going to straight away glue it down. If you wanted to step it up, you totally can by... Um, I think I ended up not putting the lid on this. Naughty Kylie. I'm always doing something rebellious. It's the rebel in me. I can't help myself. It's like I can't just put things away. It's like the wild child. Hang on. I'll just get a new one. <laughs> you ready? I don't know if I have any Tombow. Oh, oh yeah, I've got a few here. Look, there's even two layers. <laughs> oh, yes, I love my Tombow adhesive. I'll fix my other one later. We haven't got time on here to be mucking around with glue. Ain't nobody got time for that. We need to be crafting. So then we're going to go like this and just stick it down. So that, my friends, is basically the start of a card. And if you wanted to, you can very simply just add a sentiment on here and you're done. But if you wanted to dress it up, well, it's quite easy to do with this amazing new thighs and thinlets. You basically can layer and add more texture and depth by using these beautiful, beautiful dies behind your sentiment if you wanted to. So if we have a look at this, we've got our thank you here. So that, that one there is a perfect one for that one. And that goes very nicely. Oh, look at that. Ha! Oh, stampin' up. And if you wanted to with this one, the thanks you're like oh it's not very good because it's a bit too long but all you do is you run it through like this and you're going to have the big piece here but then you run it through again you sort of line it up and then just cut this little bit here and then you have this thanks and I'll show you that exactly what I what I do there so you can have a little play Ooh, brand new so it's always good with brand new to just do a little bit of a, on your skin, you can do this or grab your um, beautiful chamois and just do a, do a little wipe on here. And all it does, it just takes a little bit of that resin and residue off because it can repel the ink. Um, so you kind of want to just take that shine off it a bit. I know it looks flashy and new and exciting, but it can end up repelling your ink, which we don't want. Now, I've got my spare Whisper White pieces that I keep nice and tidy tidy in here. So I always have a scrap piece somewhere ready to be used and waiting because I just put them in the little bags in every color. I have it labeled and I have it in every color. And I know, sometimes they can be organized. Won't put the lid back on my glue, but we'll have paper organized with labels. That clearly was Jesse and Bruno that did that for me. <laughs> not me. I am not taking responsibility for that adult action. <laughs> for such a responsible behavior. <laughs> so we're going to come in here with our thanks. And actually what we might do, I might just test it and see. We'll play around a bit here because this is playtime. We're testing out new product. We'll move that out of the way of the ink. And I'm just going to do it up here a bit. Actually, I'll do it right in the middle because I just want to see what 
I've used early espresso by the way because I figure that goes really nicely with the color scheme and you just grab your little chamois even though it looks terribly dirty and disgusting it's really amazing if you don't have your chamois and what I'm gonna do I'll put that back <gasps> I'm doing adult things I'm putting something back uh, so thanks from the bottom of my heart let's see if that oh thanks my friend actually I might do something like that well thanks ever so much thanks for all you do for all your help <gasps> I just wanted to say let's do that that's hit me that's hit my heart I'll turn it around that side so I can read which one it is um, some of them are around the other way for everything there it is I just want to say let's grab that one so instead of just having the thanks we can have I just want to say now this is one of these ones that are really flimsy so again just do the little brush off um, so that it takes away the oil and what you can do is you can just use your grid paper to line that up nicely so that you know it's straight and happy and then come in with my really grotty block <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you like that, Sue. <laughs> there we go. And P.S. If people can't see comments, if you're watching the replay and you can't see comments, I've been asked that question a couple of times. You just have to make sure that you have a YouTube account or that you're logged in. Oh, <laughs> stepping up. Boom. Look at how they have done this, people. Can you see this? <gasps> it is so perfect wow look at how they have lined that up ah! Ah! Standing up. <laughs> i am so impressed right now they just don't cease to amaze me this company so then what we're going to do is wipe this because you know while i'm in responsible mode <laughs> let's do some cleaning it's one thing I'm very good at though. I always clean my stamps. I never leave them out and I always clean them and put them away. I may not do it right away, but I do it like, I don't go to sleep. I don't leave my craft room without putting my stamps away. Because otherwise I end up losing them and then that makes me really sad and angry at myself for not taking care of my things. So we're gonna do this one. And I'm going to do it, in fact, it'd be very interesting if we just leave it as is. Because you could cut it down if you wanted to, or do it on the side here. Uh, but I'm vibing the middle. Let's cut it in the middle. Yep, yeah, I like that. Locking it in. Do not, do not ab abort this mission. Stick to it because if you overthink it and the next card if I want to then I can do it a little bit off the side right we've got 72 of them so if you like both just do another one with the other way oh this is so pretty <laughs> just want to say I cannot believe this. It's exactly our size. Yes. Oh, I just want to cry. It's so beautiful. Oh, standing up. Just stop it already. Stop being so amazing. And then if we wanted to, it needs it but if we wanted to go even more drama we could add like this behind but we would just need to have it as an edge which is awesome but some of these are very much designed for landscape look at that 
you have to do a landscapey card so that's why it's so good that even though we've chopped these looking at it from portrait it actually doesn't matter you can do either way <gasps> I'm very excited can you tell <laughs> so what I'm going to do I'm going to cut this and I think I'll do it what am I vibing I think I'll do it in let me have a look oh I've got it I'm not telling you I'm keeping it a secret Shh, secret I'm secreting on you I wonder if actually this would be fun what color oh I'm gonna swap it out what color do you think I should do this little border what's everyone gonna go for which color do you think I'm gonna pick put your comments below lock them in lock them in <laughs> you ain't gonna get the stamps Alice I'm so sorry I'm not really, but I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to show you a few options here. This is how I craft. I do a couple of versions. And then we take a pick. Then I do a vote. And I'm going to do this one. I'm very sorry. Call me an enabler. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm making you all spend money that you don't have. All right. Oh, that one needs a little bit more. So this die is quite um, detailed. So it may even be worth using your um, precision board. Did I just make up that name? I don't even know if that's actually a name. I'm gonna have a look at my catalog now. Oh yeah, that's better. I don't even know if we have that plate anymore, you know. I don't think we do at the moment because we don't have a die cutter. As soon as I said it, I thought, oh, I don't think we have that available. Anyway, use your die cutting machine. Whatever one you've got there. So, here are my options. <laughs> oh, Cindy. Lolly Sandy. Oh, the yellow would actually be very nice, but I, sadly I don't have Bumblebee, so I can't do the yellow. We have to wait until the new catalogue for me to get Bumblebee. Bumblebee is not, not on the cards. It is reminiscent of crushed curry. Like I did think at first it was crushed curry, but we can compare the pair. I'll put it next to it and see what it looks like. I know, I'm very naughty. I don't have my little sponge. So I'll just put this everywhere. Look how pretty that is. Gorgeous. Yeah, this one wasn't cutting very well, the minty. So maybe it made our mind up for us. Although I just want one side. Yeah. I don't know why it didn't cut through. See? Sold. Early espresso it is. <laughs> it made up my mind for me. I'll just put that in a little pile down there. So what we'll do. Ooh. So let me think about this. Because I want to, I want to definitely. I don't think I want the edges anyway. I just wanted the top edge. So I think looking at this, I can see that I can cut it at that those two dots there. Yeah, because I just want an edge on each side. I don't necessarily want the edge on the side side. I think that'll be too much for me. 
I'm getting a bit girly if I have too much frill. I just want a little bit. Actually, I'm going to use my little mini, mini cutter. Here's my little mini chopper. Here you are. Here you are, little one. Hi. Uh, this is super handy. I actually didn't realise how handy it was going to be. It's like Stampin' Up! have given us a little gauge there. <laughs> the two dots. I might just go in a little bit closer. And then we've got the two dots on this side. Come in a little bit closer. Let's have a look at this. Oh, I cut off a little bit much, didn't I? But I actually really like that. Oh, Kylie, you're surprising me today. Okay. Don't you love that it lifts up? So you can do those little small cuts like this. And then what we can do is come in like this. Through, and I can go all the way to the edge. Yeah, I think I like that rather than with the dots. I think the dots are too busy. So I'll go like this and like this. And then we're going to dimensionalize it so that it really pops, standing up proudly like that. <gasps> so pretty. Yes. I love it. Chop it. There we go. We don't need much. So we're going to put this on. And I like to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put that there. And then come in and make sure that it's centered there. Yeah. And then add a little bit on here. And do the other side. And just line that up. That looks so pretty. And how simple was that? And it just completely changed that guy. Ah, oh, yes! Let's stick you that down. Hi there! Rick, you're having fun with it? Oh, I'm so happy. The terracotta tile would look absolutely beautiful, people. I agree. But, uh, yeah, this is the thing with this. Is we have, remember, we have 72 of them. So you can just try all the different ones. Now, remember with this, I did it yesterday, that you can use your pick a tool, take your pick, and just use this, the sharp edge and pull this off. Um, brought to you by Lisa Curcio. Ah, now I can put that straight in the bin and be an adult. Yay! Oh, yeah, that's so pretty. <gasps> I hope it didn't block you all. Oh, no. I, on my other phone, I didn't put, um, I'll just wait and make sure before I stick this down. But I didn't put it on Do Not Disturb. Oh, oh, I think I found the spot. I'm just going to make sure that you all can see Hunky Dory. That everything is all okay. I know this one had a little meltdown, but that's okay. We can fix that. <laughs> Rick loves the entire suite. Oh, good. It looks like it's all happy. So I'm going to go there. Oh, check it out, people. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, thanks, Denise. This is seriously my creativity. Like, this is me coming up with something from absolute scratch. But this is what I love about the designer series paper is it just gives you these options to basically start somewhere. It gives you a base. 
rather than sort of feeling like you're completely on your own and that you're, yeah, it just gets a bit overwhelming if you don't have somewhere to start. Like I either start with color or my card templates. My card templates really help me to um, think of layouts that I really like. So, um, yeah, it just sort of gives you a beginning, a beginning place. But of course, you can totally step this up even more because there's these beautiful, beautiful dies that are perfect for edges. In fact, look, that's the edge. I didn't even need to use that punch if I didn't want to. So this is what Discovery does. After the fact, we now know that there's a perfect one here too. <laughs> but there you go. Stampin' Up! read my mind. <laughs> So yeah, you can add all of these beautiful flowers. So these are perfect for edges as well, which is great with the Love It Chopper, having these edges underneath uh, your beautiful sentiment. And even with something like this, even this one here actually, we'll pull that one off. Look, if you have it sort of poking out underneath and above, you could cut it through the middle and then just lift it up a bit and then just have like this beautiful flower cut it at the edge and have this like flower coming out underneath your sentiment. So lots of ideas, lots of exciting things to do with this card, but we'll just do the inside because we had some of these papers, our little pieces left over. So I'll grab one of those. What have we got here? There it is. And we'll grab that piece there and again we'll just come in and because I've done it this way um, you don't see it as well but it's still absolutely gorgeous on the inside but I like it along the edge there and this is where your handy little mini cutter is your little bestie and you have this already pre-cut using your I have the Whisper White pre-cut for like, yeah, I do a whole lot of them all in one go. And so you just aim where you want it. You know exactly the spot, make sure it's lined up and boom, little chop. And then we're gonna stick that down. And that's just the inside because we don't want any nudie rudies, no nudie runs. There we go. So the possibilities with this whole suite is just so exciting. Um, you know, we've just played with one card of potentially a minimum of 72 cards that we have here ready to go. Whee! Look at all that. And we could just add a beautiful sentiment like this. It, it's still absolutely stunning. It doesn't mean you have to do a whole lot of stamping, um, but it's just the base to so many possibilities and so many gorgeous cards. This with the blends or sponging, just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I love Lisa too, Diana. <laughs> so this um, Eleni is a brand new suite that Stampin' Up! have brought out and it's a pre-order item and it's called Gar um, Ornate Garden. So the only way to get this is if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or you can add it to your starter kit if you want to join. So there you go. Thank you for joining me today for our little unboxing video. That was so much fun. I hope that you all enjoyed that. I'll just um, zoom out and get... Hello there. So good. Isn't that fun? Yay. Crafting with new stuff. <laughs> yes, and customers can buy it from the 1st of April. But who wants to wait until the 1st of April? And remember, if you're Stampin' Up! Demonstrator and you put this in your pre-order, you also get uh, Celebration Freebies, which I did. I bumped it up and got this. 
the brand new one, Tags in Bloom. And I also got myself some free foil, the flowering foil paper. So that's really great at the moment, being able to get freebies. So that's why it's excellent time as a demonstrator to put in an order now before the 1st of April. Like how cool that we get to, because this is going to be around for an entire year. This is a pre-release from the new annual catalogue that's coming in June. So this is going to be around for quite some time. In fact, right now uh, there's a group of us in my training program that Bruno and I run. Uh, we are coordinating a mega bundle using this suite. And I'm thinking there's going to be at least 50 tutorials in that mega bundle. So you want to keep out a lookout for that. And for some of them, it's the first time they've ever done tutorials. So we're really excited about being able to train them on how to like basically create their own tutorial from scratch and to make it into this mega bundle. I mean, a hundred or more have said that they want to take part. So it would be kind of cool if we hit a hundred <laughs> in a mega bundle. <laughs> so um, that would be really, really cool. Um, but there's going to be so many amazing ideas in that bundle that you are definitely going to get want to get your hands on that. Uh, so all of my direct team members will receive that as a gift. Just saying. <laughs> and all of my customers that order from me usually get my tutorials for free. Not sure whether I'll be doing it as a freebie for my customers. I'll have to wait and see. Maybe it'll be if you buy the bundle, you'll get it. If you buy the suite, then you'll get it as a gift. We have to wait and see. We'll have to work it out. <laughs> yeah, think about joining Sam. <laughs> if you know you want this um, suite, it's a no-brainer. Because then you get all the freebies. You get the mini, the mini cutter. You get the free postage, you get $66 of product for free, you get the free stamp set, you get the free paper. Why wouldn't you join? Seriously, just join already and get all of these goodies. So I had so much fun with you all today with our uh, random live that just happened to happen. Um, really happy. I was just going to record it and I thought, no, I'm going to go live and, and enjoy it all with you. Cause it's fun it's nice and social i feel like i'm sitting in a classroom with you all you're all at my house having fun with me and hopefully some of you are creating while you're watching isn't this cool <laughs> so cool so it's all ready to go and i can put it in one of my uh clear cases uh because it just i think it just fits even in the smaller one uh do i have a spare one here i'm pretty sure i do yes always Always a spazzy. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> so, voila. So I'll have to create a little cover for our paper. So yeah, just use the clear mat cases. You can get these from Stampin' Up. Uh, in Australia, you get a set of four for $10. Bargain. But, you know, as I said, it's kind of cool to, um, to just use it. But there's a lot there, <laughs> so maybe you won't use it all in one go. <laughs> so yeah, that's a nice way to, to keep it all nice and tidy. And I'll do a cover for you and put it in our little store. So I will pop up the information about joining. In fact, I've already put it there. And I've put a video as well to help you on how to join up. And... What else have I got for you? Oh, and if you're a demonstrator and you want some business training, some social media training, then I'll put that link up as well because we now have the pay month by month option. So if you need that option, $35 Australian a month it is uh, for that social media training. And um, yeah, if you think there's someone that would like to see these brand new products, please share, please like, please subscribe. How many likes have we got? 17. Am I only worth 17 likes to you all? <laughs> I'd love some more likes. Please, pretty please. I'll watch them go up. <laughs> Thank you everyone for being here. Thanks for Liam's family. And I've already scheduled the one coming up 
in two days. So definitely check that out. And if you haven't already, make sure you vote. Go over to KylieBattucci.com and vote for your top five favourites in our gallery for the month, our International Highlights Gallery. Come over and check that out too. So thank you all very much. Thank you for your support. We all just love you so much and we appreciate uh, the tutorials that you purchase from us and it, it just helps us to keep creating for you, which is really awesome. So thank you very much. I'm seeing the likes go up now. <laughs> so we shall see you all very soon. See you in a couple of days online somewhere. Bye everyone. Thanks for being here. Bye.